Hello everybody, Mikey Derpanzinator here with Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as China. And um, sooner or later we're going to start getting some coups in uh, Italy, Turkey, and Hungary. What is Hungary contributing to the war? Like about a 50 to 100 divisions. So that's actually quite a lot considering they have a lot more divisions than us. Get those uh, hedgehogs. Get all of that. What are we missing? Fighters. Do you still have fighters? So we're gonna delete you. And then the last group of fighters. We're gonna give you an ace for sure. Can you like not show us the dead aces though? I'm going to actually put you on no retreat so all of you get shot down. Good times. Anyways, alright, about a month to go. And then the coups in Italy will start off. Um, just checking on Germany, German manpower. Going down a little bit. Doing whatever we can. Checking on our own resource game. Trying to scrape and claw for every ounce of steel we can. It's very necessary. Oh my god, the Soviet Union opened up again. Thank God. No, I need I need I need more Stalin. I need it all. All of it. Why did you open up your you change your trade laws to limited exports? Okay. That is actually a lifesaver. And I'll try and liberate your country as a thank you. Uh, good for, you know, it's good for the Russians for holding on to, you know, not letting them be able to push out from Crimea. That's actually a very, very, very helpful thing they have done in this part of the game. Meanwhile, in Africa, everybody is dying. So. Can anyone be promoted? Like anything I'm just not noticing. What about airplanes? Any planes? Jet tactical bomber. We could do some of that. Not really any jet fighters or other stuff, so. Yeah, the Chinese Air Force is our Air Force is pathetic. Especially for this late in the game. I mean, yeah, we have like two thousand planes. It's not great. Our next election is December of nineteen fifty five. What are we missing? Fighters. Is our like last fighter group? Okay, well, yeah, they'll get shot down and um, and we'll be completely on to jet fighters after sacrificing thousands of men in the skies. And oh boy, here we come. It's almost coup time. It's almost coup time. So, Italy. Enjoy all this. I hope this coup is like actually something significant, especially in Italy, where it's like 50-50 democratic support. Like I hope they actually get some, um, you know, they get some traction going. Like Turkey and Hungary, not expecting as much because, well, that's just the way things are over there. So, can we nuke anywhere? Heavy ship hull. Let's get super heavy battleships. So you're all hurting. That's great. All right, here we go, boys. This is where the fun begins. All right, Republican Italy. What do you have? 18 divisions. God help us. Okay. Everybody, attack. I don't know why I'm clicking the, like, don't attack buttons first. But now is the time. Please don't die. Hurry up. Come on, Italy. Yet yeah, we know there's a civil war. Like, we know. That's, like, our plan. Okay. I feel like Italy is going to get crushed. 
Kingdom of Italy. Is Kingdom of Italy in the Allies? Republican Italy is in the Allies. Speaking of, do they have any, do they have any manpower? No, they don't. But they're on volunteer only. Okay, so this is um probably actually not going to get a whole lot done if I had to guess. What if they can just hold Sicily? I don't know. Distract troops. These coups probably aren't going to help that much. Probably not. So uh, just start the manpower drain. No nukes there. How about in Italy? Turkey! Alright, so your coup kicks off in March, I believe. Early March. Okay. Should help a little bit. Come on. Help them out. I know y'all don't have any, like, supplies, but y'all need to just go. Alright, so we have a guy who was able to get... To get more command structure. Have fun with all of that. What are we researching? Whatever. It's all naval stuff at this point. It doesn't really matter as far as I can tell. We need to get as much of it as possible. Free France. Is Free France like, okay, Free France is going. Alright, Spain. Alright, Italy. Come on. You gotta do, you gotta get things done, Italy. So now we're in February. Point six four for day. I'm just gonna stage a Democrat coup in Germany. It'll happen whenever it happens. As these coups kick off, we're just gonna keep form forming more and more all over the place. Right, Stalin? Right. Stalin's like, I have no more manpower. Oh, Stalin has some manpower. Like 500,000. Not a lot. Alright, so Crimea. It's like a back door. That we have to. Can you, like. I don't know. Get them out of there? Hurry up. See what you can do. Destroy them. Italian German. Alright, so we're pushing into Turkey a little bit more. I guess we're trying to. Like, can anyone do anything useful in this war? So there we go, we're gonna try we're trying to liberate Crimea. Sevastopol having, I don't know, 17 Italian divisions. Probably not helpful. But uh, pushing them out of the Soviet Union, whoever it may be, pushing enemies out of the Soviet Union, probably gonna help a little bit. Oh my god, they, we got them out of Sevastopol. No, attack. Attack them. I don't care what you do, that's 13 divisions. Attack them. Wipe them out. All of them. Good. Alright, you do that. Crimea is being liberated. Oh boy. What else are we missing? Fighter. Eight more fighters. Just get them out of just get them out of our um little worry area. So your coup will kick off in about a March of 1954. That'll take forever. The Italian queue is getting um, destroyed. So, hopefully, they can hold on to Messina. I mean, there, there's some forts there. We shall see. Um, so, yeah, have fun with all of that, my friends. Speaking of, can y'all like promote any no but you're an urban assault specialist I think you've been like that mountaineer dude skirmisher camouflage expert 
Okay. Well, there you go. And goodbye to all these divisions. People are getting wounded. I do not care. All I care about is the eventual victory of China. Don't just don't look at how much. Don't look at our resource. Pro, don't look at our equipment problems. Just don't stare at it right in the face. Come on. Onward to victory. Alright, so we got cruiser armor. Everyone's getting wounded. I don't really care. I just care about getting to where the coups... Alright, good. Hold the line. American troop, American tanks. No, don't send your tank there. Send your tank to hold them at Messina. Do, they shall not pass. All right, the Hungarian coup is going to get absolutely wrecked. Turkey, I don't know. Maybe the Turkish coup will help. Seems like we're getting things done. I mean, we have 50 million men, so I'm not exactly concerned about anyone, you know, getting killed. I mean, every loss is a tragedy, but, you know, you do what you can. All right, the coups will the coups will happen all right there we go got the Republic of Turkey going let's go Republic of Turkey are we gonna help them anyone all right so there we go we have coups all over the place now let's stage a coup in Bulgaria and then in um, Croatia there we go just wherever we can stage a coup we will stage a coup just to cause havoc If we can hold on to Sicily, that'd be great. Come on, Hungary. Hold the freaking line. Also, the fact that we liberated Crimea is good. It's like, if we could just kill this ball sack, that'd be great. Chumbi Wumbi. Whatever. Do whatever you feel like doing. Our casualty ratio can be atrocious. Doesn't matter. Our casualty ratio does not matter, comrade. What matters is that we just kill Germans and other people. And the coup in Turkey seems to be falling apart. They just need to hold. Well, they're holding on to Gallipoli, so that's fun. The coup in Italy. We've got all that. And by doing these coups, let us not forget what we accomplish is good. Because what that means is, um, for all fighter entrenchment speed, makeshift bridges, for all fighter, sure, do all of this. Whatever you can do. Come on, y'all. Take them out. Can we nuke anywhere? What about the Balkans? No, we cannot nuke in the Balkans. Huh. What about in Turkey? How's everything going in Turkey? Everything, I mean... I think what we're just going to uh, end up doing is just the manpower drain strategy. Everyone's getting overextended. Purple army. Where the f is the purple army? Well, you can get Romania out of the war. That's, um... Like, almost 50 divisions. It's not that many. What we're mainly concerned with is German manpower. And we are draining that as best possible. Also by running up our casualty rate. 
we can, um, I don't know, you know, take a lot of stuff for ourselves in this war. Right, guys? Right. Alright, Marines. Y'all need a, like, a... Why are y'all pathetic? I don't care. Um... Need more jet fighters. And now we don't have enough aluminum or tungsten or bullshit. Give me more. Give me all of your stuff. Okay. Well. Oh, oh. I thought that was our side of Turkey and not their side. Well, that's not good. This guy's dead, so we're just going to preemptively assign someone now. So our coup in Turkey didn't work. And once your coups fail, I think they're done for good, so... Oh boy. Um, super heavy battleship. I mean, good for them. Now, what I... I'm concerned here. Just a little bit. I feel like this army might be getting a little overextended. Cause the yellow army can't take it can't take care of the freaking ball sack. <sighs> and we can't get air superiority anywhere, so we can't drop nukes. Hmm. It's like a console command for uh, un invincible divisions. Depth charge mortar. Improved depth charge mortar. I think that's just what we do. We just gotta kill every single German ever. That's what we're doing. We're just gonna keep on attacking. So that's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to keep on attacking. Our little heavy ship hole. That's that's fun and all. Come on, y'all. Why does everything suck? Why can't we get like this province? Literally. It's not that hard, y'all. It's not that hard. Marines, what are you doing? Marines, freaking take them out. Take their port. Anyways, that is all the time we have for this episode. I mean, we're affecting their manpower. Oh, we finally got National South Africa. Yeah, we're nuking a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. Oh, look, the Great Step. Wow. Good job, everybody. Good job, but well, we're, we're we're down to manpower drain, so we're just gonna like suicidally send troops in to attack the Germans. Hopefully, we get scavenger at some point. We just don't have enough. We don't have enough military factories. We don't have like a bunch of other stuff. You know what I mean? Like we just—it's just—it's frustrating. A tough war to win. Although we are pushing up through the south. So that's good. We're pushing up from Egypt. Maybe we're, I mean, it looks like we are retaking North Africa. If you ask me. So let's defeat them. We can take North Africa. Break the underbelly. Oh, and they broke through. Crap. Well, that's not good. Our Italian queue is not going to help. Damn. What about our Democratic coup in Germany? I mean, they have like no Democratic support at all. So that's fun. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'm leaving it running again just to keep everything going. Um... 
If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing to this channel, hit that notification bell, and join us all in the Discord server. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next one, this is Mikey Dare Panzernator, signing out. See ya, nerds! <laughs>